sorry. <laughs> I got my good earth tea. I like to drink my good earth tea while I'm out here. I won't, you don't have to look at it. Anyway, okay, this week is glazing the test tiles. Well, let me just say, <laughs> the project is way huger than I anticipated. Um, <clears throat> there is so much to do that I didn't figure in. Here's what I'm looking for. Um, I need to have a glazed tile that has the basic color on it. I wanted a test tile that had the tint, which is adding white, and the shade, which is adding black, okay? And there's actually the basic color in the center. So those are two test tiles. <clears throat> the third one, I wanted to take this basic color and mix it with another basic color to see what I get. I got this far this week on just my Amico glazes. I also have Spectrum, um, Duncan, Speedball, Laguna. I have other kinds of glazes that I'm trying to test. So. The biggest thing that took the lo a long time, which I didn't figure in, was a lot of them needed water. A lot of them were dry. The good, the good news, though, I'm, on the positive side, I did have some test tiles that had the basic color already. I already had one like that. The challenge was that basic color hadn't been used in so long. It was dry. I had to add water. I had to let it absorb. I had to dump it in a bucket. I had to blend it with a blender. I had to dump it back in, and I had to wash the bucket for the next one. Most of my glazes were dry. So <clears throat> it was very time consuming in getting the, gla the, clay, the, the glazes ready. Um, not so much in brushing it on there, that took no time at all. Even mixing the tint and the shade didn't take as long because it's equal portions. I did 50-50 on the ones that I did today. Um, wondering about the black, I should have probably done a quarter black and three quarters of the color. But you know, it'll be, it, it'll be what it'll be. But um, I also decided that I'm going to be a little more selective on what I mix because I, I came to some colors and I thought, I don't like that color. I don't like that color in light and I don't like that color in dark. Someday I may need it, but not to spend that much time making a test tile at this present moment. So I am going to skip over some things. I'm not going to miss, mix certain things. I'm not, you can't mix everything together because that would be thousands of test tiles. So I'm, I'm getting a little bit more selective as I go because it was taking so long, um, which is you know, a learning thing, a learning curve. I should have figured at the beginning that I am going to make adjustments along the way, which is usually how I even do my, my artwork. I make adjustments along the way. Uh, but hopefully at the very end, I hopefully will be able to finish by next week. But if I don't, if I don't finish by next week, I just want to let you know the goal is not the four weeks to get it done in four weeks. I'm not shooting for four weeks and going, woo, I did it in four weeks. The goal is to get my test tiles tested so that the show that I'm doing, I'll be able to look at my wall and say, what color do I want to use? And I'll have a test tile and it'll tell me exactly what to get. That's the main goal for me. The second main goal is to do it in four weeks because I really just want to get started playing with my clay again, but I haven't had any time to do that. Except for, I should say this, I fired up my uh, firecracker. I'm going to call it firecracker where you guys probably saw this video going around where the person stuck a firecracker, they textured the outside of the clay, put a firecracker in and bang. Okay, I did I did those and I fired them with the bisque tiles. Oh, they turned out so cool, I can't wait to glaze them. They're, just, they're tempting me. I'm talking to you and I'm looking at them on the shelf going, I know exactly what I want to do with that. So I want to get these test tiles done so I can start playing again. Um, but the bottom line is I want to get them all done. So today's video, you'll see it all the way to the end. I'm not even going to put an ending on it because there isn't one. It's still continuing on. And hope you guys enjoy this week. Thank you for watching. And we will see you next time for hopefully the grand finale, them all test tiled. I might make it into a five week where I, I evaluate certain test tiles in a, in a short little clip or something because I really don't know. I got to think of how to put it all together to, to share it properly. Thank you again for watching. Like I said. See you next week. Come. Oh. Oops, no, I don't want to preheat it. It's already 94 degrees outside. Cone 04. Speed slow. Hold time nothing. And start. want to mix. I'm not just going to say I'll mix these two, these two, these two, and then I'll tint, tint, tint and shade and all of that. I want to say, okay, do I really want to see the color that those two make? Like, 
green and red, I have no clue. I, I, I don't want to see what that looks like. I don't think I'm going to like it. So I don't, I'll try those another time because I realize the project I started is overwhelming and I need to tune it to what it is I want to see. I'm just going to show you one test tile as I do it and it's actually going to be the first one but this is for a basic color and the color I'm mixing dun, 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 is Clementine from Amico. It's one of the celebration glazes, uh, an opaque glaze, an, opa an opaque gloss glaze. So I'm going to do my first layer. Okay, so I have one, two, and three coats. I want to, as that's drying, I can just turn that over. And remember, I wanted to do my, my wash effect, so I'm just going to glaze over here. And get a wet sponge and wipe that off. Okay, and we notice it's still left, I left a little bit in the groove here because I want to see how that burns out. Uh, now that I have a, a pre-picture, I can compare it when it's all finished. And that is actually how I'm going to do all the basic colors, and I'm not going to videotape it because I have so many to do. Um, I just wanted to show you the basic one. Okay, a fun experiment. I'm gonna do my wash. I was gonna do my wash on the other side, but I think what I'll do is I'm gonna mix this little guy into this little guy. So I've just now added the tint and the shade together. So I'm gonna leave that and see what it turns out like. Okay, here's my um, <clears throat> here's my chart. I realized as I was doing this that there's a lot of columns that didn't apply. It's not set up in a useful way uh, for what I'm doing. So um, 
I'm writing down the information I can and the spaces I have. And at the end, I'm going to go ahead and just reformat this, put it in my Excel file and print it out so I have a nice, easily read uh, document when it's all finished that I can hang next to my test tile shelving. Okay, these are my tints and shades that I added together. I had the tinting on the left and the shading on the right, and I mixed them together and I put them on the back of those tint shade test tiles. Uh, I hopefully, I'm waiting for these to dry out. I'm going to crumble them up and stick them in um, a container so that I can use them in another project. I have an idea for these, so I want them to dry out so I can make them crumbly. Okay, you know the when I told you I'm going to use those crumbly, I'm going to try and make those glazes crumble. And the reason is I'm going to make them like this. Because I saw a project in Ceramic Arts Daily where you can add this to clay and fire it, and it embeds in the, in the clay. And I just can't wait to try it. So uh, I'm just going to use all my extras. and. This is my surprise of the week. My wonderful father-in-law made this table for me. Uh, it's the perfect size for doing little projects. It's real sturdy. At the bottom it looks uh, thin, but it's not. It's a hardy thing. But look at this. He made me a paper towel holder. I didn't even ask him for this. He thought it was all in his own, the little engineer that he is. And I can attach it on this side, and then I can also do it on the other side. I'm so excited to start using this table. I don't want to mess it up, though. Thank you guys for watching. We will see you next week.